There's updates on two um, important venetoclax trials here. Uh, the first is uh, the phase two trial specifically in patients with deletion 17P. Uh, this was published um, uh, the uh, first analysis with the first 107 roughly patients uh, by Stefan Stilgenbauer last year. Uh, there's an update here now with the full data set, so 158 patients, um, and the, the um, final cohort there used the uh, weekly dose ramp up as is currently uh, being applied and again confirm the safety of that. So some of the um, tumour lysis concerns from the early trials uh, are really being mitigated and addressed through that careful dose ramp up. In terms of efficacy, that trial has confirmed uh, the originally reported response rate. Um, over 80% of patients uh, respond and now has very good um, follow-up data uh, showing that the median progression-free survival uh, is over 24 months uh, in this subset of patients, uh, with 75% of patients alive at 24 months. Um, so in, in a subset of, uh, in a group of heavily pre-treated patients, all with the adverse prognostic uh, deletion 17P, uh, very, uh, uh, very high efficacy, both in terms of initial responses and durability of responses. And uh, he's also presenting uh, updated MRD analyses uh, using both flow cytometry and uh, uh, PCR-based testing. Uh, showing that 27% of patients, even in that adverse prognostic group, uh, are able to achieve peripheral blood MRD negativity with single agent venetoclax. Quite remarkable. Uh, the second update is uh, from the study uh, of the combination of uh, venetoclax and rituximab. And Dr. Brander is uh, presenting that now with uh, an additional six months follow-up uh, compared to this year's earlier Lancet Oncology publication. Um, the uh, complete remission rates uh, remain uh, very high at 51%. Remembering this is in the setting of relapsed and refractory disease with uh, a median of two prior therapies. Uh, so that CR rate is holding uh, and to me most remarkably the proportion of patients achieving MRD negativity in the bone marrow uh, is now 59%. So uh, nearly two-thirds of patients in the relapsed refractory setting uh, achieving MRD negativity. That's actually a higher rate of MRD negativity than with uh, FCR chemotherapy in the front line. So it's incredibly encouraging in the relapsed refractory setting, but it gives us a glimpse of how moving these therapies forward into the front line, uh, if we're able to enhance that MRD negativity rate, uh, has the potential to uh, transform uh, frontline treatment. There are ongoing trials uh, exploring that uh, uh, these novel agents in the front line. Um, there are no major updates of, of those approaches being presented here.